Hello everyone and welcome to Mars Horizon the demo. This is version 0.9.9.9 .9 so I assume it's fairly close to the release version uh, but who knows you know they could add a few more 0.9s but uh, last time I played this was in the beta which was available for a very brief amount of time. This demo is available on Steam for a few more days. Uh, it is during the Steam Oktoberfest or whatever they call it and so it is just a demo but Presumably work has occurred on it. I will say that one uh, annoyance I had in the game during the beta remains and that's that I have to unplug my joystick because it interferes with the mouse control. So I had to neutralize my throttle and unplug my joystick um, otherwise the mouse wouldn't work. So that's one thing. If you have trouble with that, yeah, that's what's happening there. Maybe that's a normal thing that happens with games, I don't know. I guess I don't play too many games. Uh, an intergovernmental organization of 22 member states, ESA, NASA, we're familiar with, and the Soviet Union, though slash Russia apparently, judging from the flags, China, and Japan are our choices here. And ESA gives 50% awards, rewards for joint missions, uh, science income bonus from friendly and allied diplomatic relationships is increased, a doubled chance of being offered joint missions. So all to do with uh, allies and joint missions stuff. NASA achieving a top three milestone rank grants double support bonus. Uh, three additional contractors are available and total astronaut re Recruit pool is doubled. So Union invalid launch windows become suboptimal launch windows and 50% uh, hiring cost and upkeep reduce reduction and no support penalty for failed missions. <laughs> uh, it sounds good to be honest, especially early on. China uh, minus 25% research costs for buildings uh, research tree. Minus 25% building construction costs and upkeep. Receive 100% of first phase science reward for failed launches. That's curious, okay. And Japan achieving a top 3 milestone rank grants science bonus of up to 25%. Interesting, um, so ESA is the organization, NASA is the organization, though it's just the organization of one country. Uh, shouldn't be this to be JAXA or the Chinese equivalent or... Soviet Union is complicated because they had too many darn uh, well industrial things going on, and then now it's Roscosmos, but Roscosmos didn't exist early on, so Soviet Union is probably the best on that. China might be a complicated thing. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, uh, achieving a top three milestone rank gets that um, reward for lucrative type request missions. It seems like for the early part of the game. The Soviet Union obviously obviously has the benefit because you get more launch windows, you get less hiring costs and upkeep for astronauts, and you gotta feel a lot of missions because it's new technology. So the support penalty not being reduced for that is a good thing. Now there's a customized agency thing. We have a headquarters at Baikonur Cosmodrome, but we could rename it to uh, Plasets. <laughs> if we want to, I guess, or whatever, but we'll keep it to buy. I'll go with uh, Soviet Union. Why not? Last time I did, I did uh, the United States. So I want to see what stages we have for the Soviet Union. The United States, we had able uh, all sorts of uh, familiar stages. Uh, do we really have all that with the Soviet Union? Uh, traits, uh, cut price. Uh, okay, so these are the ones that uh, we just talked about. Diplomacy. Antagonistic to the US, neutral to ESA, that's, <laughs> well, I mean, it's complicated. Uh, friendly to China is also really complicated. Um, I wouldn't say so, to be honest. Uh, not by the time of the space, uh, even the 60s. So, neutral to J Japan. Well, yeah, at the time of the 60s, I'll grant that. Okay, alright, although we could randomize this. So we could we could change it. Competing. We can randomize, but I can't actually set it. Uh no. 
I'll just reset to what they have. Okay, so... Difficulty select. Explorer is relaxed experience, pioneer, balanced experience, veteran. More demanding challenge for experienced players. I'll just go pioneer this time, I think. Auto resolve. Well, uh, it's an option, it says. So I'll have it as an option. We'll go with that. Okay. Early preview of uh, Mars Horizon. Okay, limited demo. You'll have access to the first era in the game, same as with the beta, which takes you from launching your first satellite to sending the first human into orbit. The game will end once you've completed Human in Space Mission or January 1966. So we should should just not rush. Okay, uh, the solar system screen is your gateway. Okay, continue. Tutorial objectives, build a sounding rocket, research small launch pad, build small launch pad, launch sounding rocket. Okay. Yes, we need to build a rocket. Uh, selecting a planetary body in the solar system will display a list of missions associated with that body. Well, they're much clearer about that now. Um, okay. So now the mission select screen displays all missions belonging to a selected... Planetary body. Okay, uh, we'll definitely do a test launch. Currently selected mission can be seen here, uh, such as the length of the mission and rewards offered. So we get a approval benefit and research benefit and whatever that is. There are two types of missions, milestones and requests. Milestones are for advancing the space program and uh, they'll offer research. Request missions are for support in science. Are they said like contract things? Don't require additional research, but available for a limited amount of time. I'll think of them as contract things. Research required to unlock the currently selected mission will be listed here. Note that all research has already been completed for test launch. Okay. All of the space agencies will be racing to complete milestone missions. Doing so will result in increased support for your agency. Okay. Okay, continue plan mission. Okay, so a mission plan includes each stage. Test launch has no payload. Okay, so design vehicle. Only sounding rocket can be selected. Okay, so it's just uh Standard sounding rocket, I guess. Vehicle designer. We have a booster in upper stage. Okay. On only the sounding rocket. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Okay. Minimum. The vehicle can reach the minimum distance. Suborbital is the requirement, I guess. We need a small launch pad. So, yeah. Launchpad requirement is not met. That's that icon there. But we can build the rocket while waiting for the launch pad. 25% launch reliability. Well, we better build many of them. <laughs> okay. Um, can I change the name first? Uh, hmm. Let's just call it R1. <laughs> it's not really R1, but why not? Once the vehicle has been constructed, you receive construction report from your engineers. Okay, if you have necessary funds, we have 100,000. This needs 80,000. That's tight. Okay, so build vehicle. Okay, go to solar system. So March 1957. They're not giving us a whole lot of time ahead of Sputnik to get this done. Okay, complete the small launch pad research. Okay. Tree is made up of nodes. Research tree. Requires science to complete. Split into eras, and we want the buildings tree. 
and we want we've got HQ and vehicle hangar and what we want is a small launch pad okay but it's taking well there's going to be 10 science consumed that we're researching and then the small launch pad is gonna cost 50,000 and upkeep is 5,000 but it only takes a month to make it okay So that's been decided, okay? Yep, and I got the resource panel, yes. Money is for constructing vehicles. Support is key to reaching higher funding tiers. Okay. Science is earned from missions, yeah. Then upcoming events, past events will be back there to the left. And then we can advance to the next month. So let's just take a look at other research, vehicle research. So we've got a oh, vehicles tree contains technology. Yeah, okay, I, I understand. So we've got the R7 booster and R7 upper stage. It doesn't specify which upper stage. Oh, and then we have curiously American upper stages. So all right, uh, this might need some work though. A cyclone booster, that's a difference, but they don't apparently know about the Soviet upper stages, Block E, Block I, and such, or uh, Block D. Now that might be because that's the next era, I don't know, but then, yeah, well, maybe. I, I Well, I don't need any capitalist boosters, I mean, come on. Shocking. Okay, uh, well, uh, let's just advance next month. Okay, research small launch pad is done. And once a new building has been unlocked for your research, it can be constructed by the base screen. And expanding your base is important. Q and E to rotate the screen. Okay, I can't do that while that message is up. Okay, build, small launch pad, building limit reached. Oh, uh, because that, that's the HQ. Cost and upkeep. Okay, build. And... Cannot move critical buildings. Okay, I guess I can't move it then. Well, it says wherever there's suspicious, uh, sufficient space, but positive potential positive negative adjacency effects. So there's a positive one there, and we saw a positive one with the like there. Okay. Ah, uh, no, don't come with me. But we don't have enough money. Here we can place it, and it'll have money. Here it's got the adjacency effect. No negative one to HQ, and we can afford it. So let's do that. Okay. Yes, we need to select new research. I think... I mean, test pad, I don't know. I think we need to research a Sputnik booster. Hmm. We might. We also need to research the mission types, first artificial satellite. Okay, well, uh, next month. Okay, we've got a sounding rocket, we've got a launch pad done. But it's only got a 25% chance of working. Launch preparations. Saying launch date, and of course we have much more freedom on launch dates than anybody else because the unlaunchable time frames windows are just bad not unlaunchable suboptimal they are suboptimal optimal windows are ideal launch dates okay milestone missions so this is an optimal launch so let's just do it april 
Okay, confirm. Go to solar system. Okay, next month should be the launch. And we've researched the R7 rocket. Dawn of Spaceflight. Unlocked the moon. Okay, here's the test launch. Okay, launch mission. Shouldn't I, like, unlock the moon after I succeed at this? This suborbital launch? We should at least reach space first. Terrible conditions. Yeah, uh... Minus 15%. Well, you know, 23% critical failure, negative event, launch success 7%. Oh, let's reschedule. Uh, weather related delays. All right, let's try May. Okay, and we need more research. Uh, let's go back, go to missions, artificial satellite mission. And I have a bad feeling about this rocket too. Um, so, on this plan, we can't build another rocket for it at the same time. That's annoying. I would like to build another, you know, another sounding rocket at the same time. You know, we've got, you know, potentially manufacturing facilities free, and so that, that has not improved. Okay. Test launch. Oh, look at them. They're, they're uh... What, what are these symbols? Mission progress. Okay, it looks like a clear day. Alright, so now... Good conditions, 23% chance of launch success, and 8% chance of positive effect. Right. Well, let's give it a go. Well, Russian, presumably. Well, it's a good start. Could have, like, vanguarded the thing. Looks pretty high to me. And we got 77% so secure launch, launch success. That is amazing. <laughs> okay, and apparently it's more reliable now. So we got a test launch. Got good uh, approval ratings. Launching test launch in seven months. Boy, they're behind. Okay, and now we're researching artificial satellite already. Okay, and uh, yeah, we need a little bit more time on that. And vehicles, we just need the upper stage there, but we have to wait for this. Next. Okay, artificial satellite research complete. Well, we can research Sputnik. Sputnik 2 is there. Yeah, that's Sputnik 2, all right. Sputnik 3 was another thing, but that's fine. Um, research lab might be fun. Let's get the upper stage first. Can we do it in time? Research mission payload. Well, it says build... Well, maybe I don't have to have that. I I don't know. Maybe we can match it up with the sounding rocket. That will check. Let's research Sputnik first and see if we need a full R7 rocket or not. Okay, so next month. Okay, we've got Sputnik. 
Sputnik 1. Uh, build mission payload. Okay. Land mission. Select payload. All right. Well, we only have one choice. A hundred thousand. Gosh. Hill reliability reliability sixty five percent. What could go wrong? <laughs> anyway. Um. All right. Construction report. Yeah. And a hundred thousand for it. Okay, mission control. Uh, we can't do the vehicle at the same... It completes in two months, so that brings us to September. I can't do the vehicle in tandem, apparently. Okay, well, let's research more things then. I guess we'll build a R7 upper stage. I hope a small launch pad is good enough for it. It doesn't say we need anything more. Um, all right. Next month. We haven't finished building the mission payload. Set research. Um, improve scientific yields. That might be good. Rigorous vehicle engine tests, reliable launches. Let's go with that. Well, good engines. Okay, so that's what we we are researching. Okay, we have a Sputnik, and we got seventy percent reliability. Designing vehicle. Design new. Okay, let me just click things. Okay, we've got uh, the R7 upper stage. The upper stage's mass will determine the size of the booster required to carry it. Design vehicles who commonly use parts you haven't researched yet. Oh, so we can design the vehicle ahead of time. Okay, so 500 kilograms. Um, I don't know what the moon is for, but okay. All right, uh, yeah, I want I want that, and I want the booster, and yeah. This this is all still a little bit unclear to me. It'll be more clear to me when I when it is not good enough. I guess this means that I can launch a one that one point five ton upper stage. Required launch pad. It requires a small launch pad, so that's good. And they have levels. Okay. Well, that's... Oh, what? No, no, I wanted that. Select part. Well, it seems valid. And let's call this Sputnik. <laughs> Okay, 170,000, we have the money. But it'll only launch in January of 1958, which is too late. It's too late. Okay, we did research. Let's research. None of these things are stages that they would have. Um, Well, I guess we have to go through one of them. Um, the Vostok upper stage and Vostok booster are for the crewed mission.
Okay, well, this was Sputnik month. They completed a test launch. Okay, I've built my mission vehicle. And I've got good approval. And more money. Okay, 50% reliability. And February, I guess, is, I mean, it's an optimal launch date. Okay. First milestone challenge is now available. Optional goals for your agency to involve completing certain milestones. Okay, but first, um, well, let's continue with vehicles and get the Vostok booster. And we've got Spacepedia articles, this diplomacy thing. Bonuses based on relationships. I don't know why, but okay. What do I have to do with them? Give them a cookie? Proposed joint mission. Well, I mean... Anyway. Well, we could build the rocket test pad. That'll be fine. Okay. Gives them something to do next month. Okay, well, let's not select a training profile. No training bonus has been applied. Okay, well, that's just going to be how it is. Okay, adequate conditions. Um, got about 53% chance of things going reasonably well. Let's try it. That is a Sputnikish fairing. That's a nice plume. It's a nice plume. Booster set? Do we get boot? Oh no, I guess not. Oh 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 oh! We got a positive one. Gosh, we're lucky. Plus ten percent payload reliability for the duration of the mission. Okay, our Sputnik has leveled up. Okay, achieve Earth orbit. All right, let's collect beeps now. Issue commands to the payload in order to achieve objectives. Okay, we need signal and that pile of blue things. Payload commands. Each command requires a specific input in order to generate an output of resources. Limited amount of commands per turn. Okay. Really undo. Okay, we can undo. Okay, so... We don't seem to have... Do we have power? We have four power there, okay. Well... I don't know how Sputnik does visual data collection. Maybe us looking up at it. That'll get us three of those. Hmm. Let's try that. So, atmospheric sampling, which I don't know how it does, but okay.
Okay, we successfully got that. Which is important because now we're going to use a bit of that for atmospheric sampling and that's a success. So we got three of those data units. Okay, now... I can recharge power if I want to, but I can use one of the day units and power to get three signal comms stuff. So that would satisfy what we need. And then we could just use the last bit to get the bonus. So visual data collection. Okay, let's try it. So that's very much a success. Okay, many signals from the middle of Atlantic Ocean somehow. Electrical malfunction has resulted in reduced data generation. Reduced by one data. You haven't got enough power to resist it. Oh well. So we didn't get any there. Bonus objective. Yes, I'm trying for the bonus objective already. Let's recharge power and then try for the visual data collection again. Wait, no, I'll recharge power first. First, recharge power. Why does it put it in the second slot? Whatever, it's confusing me. Let me. Try this. Okay, that worked. And we got the visual data collection. All right. Okay, so we got the bonus and everything. First artificial satellite. China is launching artificial satellite in six months, jeez. Appropriate buildings. Well, we have to research them first. Buildings. Spacecraft assembly facility. It's JPL. Well, I guess we should go for that. Oh, I don't know. Well, animal in space, though. Let's change research to that. I mean, we should be able to put an animal in space. Okay. Next month. Fears over artificial satellites. They're worried about it. Uh, we can share the specifications. I think we'll do that. Sure. We gain reputation. Another agency has gained science. Well, just how it is. Okay, it wants me to build one of those things. Except I've already built the rocket test pad. Right? Or is it still... Oh, it's still under construction. Okay. So that'll get satisfied soon. Build mission control. What? I guess HQ is not mission control. Okay. Um, I guess we'll have to research mission control first. Oh yeah, it's down under here. We need two of these in order to unlock that. All right. And complete a request mission. Okay, rocket test plaid is complete. Animal and space research is done. Okay. Okay, mission control, I got it. So we need one other thing. I think I'll go with the spacecraft assembly thing. Uh, 